السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ladies and gentlemen let's continue our human development uh, tutorials uh, in this video we're gonna talk about a new uh, uh, topic uh, the previous tutorials we uh, have we talked about uh, the uh, personality uh, types we have four personality uh, types driver, analytical thinker, uh, amiable and the expressive in this video or in the next videos uh, we're gonna talk about the personality system or how uh, the person get or receive receives the information mm, visual uh, or uh, auditory or kinesthetic so uh, in this video we're gonna talk about the visual personality okay I see so the three th uh, systems of personality is visual, auditory, kinesthetic, or the feeler. Uh, all of us have has the uh, three personal uh, systems, but there is the main system that you have. It uh, represents you by more than eighty percent. Okay, so if you are a visual person uh, you, you're gonna be uh, visual by 80% and the other the other 20% uh, will be auditory and uh, feeler and if you are a feeler by uh, 80% you will have uh, the other 20% covers uh, cover the visual and the auditory okay so the general features of the visual personality or the visual system is he or she, of course, receives the information mostly through sight and eyes and sees the world around him in the form of pictures and remembers the world in the form of images and be accurate in the observation, is very accurate in the observation of colors uh, and consistency and distinguish between uh, or distinguishes between colors significantly uh, in his words, from uh, the meanings of sight, for example, uh, this means that when he uh, speaks or to uh, talks, he uses uh, words that is related to the sight or the vision. Like, I see that the subject, uh, I see that it is necessary, you saw how he spoke. If he was a small child, when he wants to uh, wants you to listen to him, he, rep he repeats, see, until you look at him, and do not speak before, uh, does not uh, speak before uh, you look at him, and we know that the speed of light is fast, so if you have a child, uh, and this child uh, has a visual system, he will, you will find him uh, says, or saying, uh, please, see 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 look at me look at me look at me please 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 so the images in the mind are quick so we find that the visuals are quick in their words they speak very fast and uh, in their breathing and heartbeat uh, they are very fast they breathe uh, very fast I see, appear, scene, clarity, glitter, observation, view, colors, darkness, shadows, sunrise, they always focus on the vision or the image, okay? So, his features, uh, speaking very fast, eating uh, very fast, speak very fast, uh, I think it is more than uh, 200 or two, uh, uh, 280 words <laughs> per minute okay the very uh, rate is very high rate okay uh, eating very fast his or her life is in a fast style because the, the images and the his imagination are so fast so if you ask a visual person to do something or to imagine something in less than 20 seconds, he will uh, think in a lot of things, a lot of images in his mind, like this board, or this uh, whiteboard. 
very very fast and speaks very fast. So Lux, uh, loves uh, the uh, the mountainous areas like this. Speaks quickly and loudly. He, when you uh, listen to him, you will think that uh, there are many people talk <laughs> simultaneously at the same moment. Sometimes interrupts you. I think that he always interrupts you. He will tell you, uh, okay, 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 stop, stop, please. I, I want to talk, I want to talk. Uh, I think that uh, you are not right. I, I, uh, he will do anything to interrupt you because he is not a patient person. Uh, his right breath is short and fast from the top of the chest, not from the bottom of the chest. So he often, uh, he often does not uh, breathe uh, healthy uh, because he fills only a third of his lungs with air. So the result of this uh, is getting nervous quickly and uh, getting so tired quickly. Those guys are very, uh, are getting very nervous easily. Get bored quickly unless it is related to the highest value. So if you want to talk to him uh, or to her, you have to uh, say that uh, the place that you you go uh, is a, a high quality place and uh, the, there are many figures there or he will tell you, I don't care about this kind of places. So getting bored quickly like this. If you do not focus on the uh, point or show that there is a high quality in your project. Durable movement and activity, high energy, often likes speed. So he talks very uh, quick, uh, quickly and quickly and uh, seems that he has high energy. Uh, takes his decisions on the basis of what he personally sees or imagines. So, this is a disadvantage of this uh, personality. Uh, if you want to uh, ask him to take a decision, he will tell you, I see that we have to do one, two, three, and four. But the basis of his decision uh, is what he sees or imagines. He does not care about the facts by more than 80% he does not care about the facts. He may be, uh, he may have uh, another idea, okay, but this idea is not right. Why? Because he sees something that we do not see. Like this, he uh, lives in his imagination, his own imagination, but this, this imagina imagination does not always have to be right. Tends to stand back slightly, head and shoulders up, sometimes raising his chest until it seems to the beholder that he is cocky. Is it just blower means? Like Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler is one of the uh, most important uh, figures in the world of the uh, World Wide War. He was very uh, attractive, uh, but as a driver. The Adolf Hitler is a driver person and his uh, system is visual. He speaks very fast, very fast, and is somehow violent, okay? And he always, uh, it seems that he sees what we do not see. So measures things with his eyes and hence may not care about feelings, especially if he's extreme in this system, like Adolf Hitler. When he speaks, he uses words related to vision. Ich bin der Führer. Ich sehe was du nicht siehst. Here uh, is characterized by speed, comprehensiveness, and the ability to differentiate between images, like this. Or the colors, he is very interested in seeing this kind of stuff. Does not care much about the order, and uh, uh, the result of this, you will find his office or her office disorganized, 
for a high degree. Like this guy, Mr. Donald Trump is a visual person and you know, his personality his personality is expressive and his system is visual. So the result of this is we find his office messy. So to know the difference between him and the other personalities, we have to take a look on the office Mrs. Hillary Clinton. He's more organized be, uh, than his office. And of course, we have to take a look on another guy, the big boss, or Mr. Barack Obama. His driver, he is not visual, he is filler. So if you look at his office, you will find less stuff, okay? Can you imagine the consequences? And it has a strategic vision. Like Adolf Hitler, he will tell you, <laughs> we have to attack them before we get uh, tagged and this kind of stuff. And we have to do and do and do and do before we have a, tra have a problem or get a problem. Okay, like this, he has the, uh, can you imagine the consequences, he will tell you, I'll have a, f I'm, I'm getting scared or uh, I'm afraid, we cannot do it, I'm afraid of the future, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, I'm afraid, so I cannot do it. High interaction with variables, if you uh, hear him uh, waiting for somebody and there is something happens, uh suddenly he will he will find him high inter interaction with variables okay and may lead to a fight okay because he uh, can change his mood very quick or quickly see what others do not see why because he sees or focuses on the global image he can see the earth but he has no idea about the details of the people, the details of the mountains, the details of the seas. He always focuses on the global image. That's why he will tell you, I see what you do not see. I mean it. They have a good management and leadership, imagination, but they are not executive. The, he has many wonderful ideas and do not apply the most. And finally, he will do nothing. Adolf said that Adolf, Adolf Hitler said that we will be a great nation and uh, we're gonna conquer all the countries and I'm gonna be the leader of the universe. But what happened at the end? He did nothing and uh, he suicided. He commits suicide. If you ask them a question about the past, you will find his eye, uh, his eyeball goes to the left of the top. His eyes always go to the top, uh, either the top, right, or left, if you ask him a question about the future. Like this, a recalling, uh, recalling a picture. When he speaks, his hands at the level of his view to the top and move a lot. His eyes go right and left, and when he speaks, he goes right and left and does not stop. He always in a motion. He moves very uh, too much. He does uh, dozens of movements simultaneously. The advantages of this personality, and uh, sometimes you will find this. Uh, disadvantages for the other people who do, uh, disagree with them, especially the feeler. Stand straight, straight back and head straight up to the shoulders. High sound tune, uh, frequent sound and fast to high pitch. <laughs> if you uh, listen to him and you are you are close to him, uh, you, you think that he uh, is speaking using a microphone. Characterized by vigor and vitality, like this. Uh, serve her his talk with all that it represents. He can do anything to let you understand his imagination or his point or his image. See, imagine, clear color, sunrise, moon, full view, see what you say, I have a clear picture. Those are the keywords of this personality. 
he has a high capacity, comprehensiveness, and the ability to differentiate between images. I think that we talked about this. Uh, and rely on movements to support their statements. Their voices are very high, are loud, and their movements are fast. Uh, it quickly, okay. Uh, the speed of uh, decision making and their decisions immediately depending on the images of their experiences, which makes them uh, or which uh, makes the situation risky. They decide quickly if they are under pressure. So, uh, and also they, uh, according to their limited experience, they can uh, decide. That's why they always, or by more than 90%, they have problems or they face problems in the future because their decision is not based on uh, the right analysis. Fit to be a leader of a crisis because he is uh, fast and uh, because he puts all the data in front of him in the form of pictures. Connect in oral testing well and deal with rapid tests well. Can imagine consequences and results. Has a strategic vision. See what the others cannot see, okay. Deal with quality uh, of the place, sorry. Uh, so the disadvantages is a great reliance on visual information and lack of sensations. This guy is not emotional, okay? He does not care about your feelings, whatever you are right, whatever you are wrong. He will tell you, I don't give a single damn. Go and attack those stupid bad guys. His head is straight, his back is straight. Uh, like I said, this uh, may be disadvantage why uh, you will feel him that he is not a modest person. Fast breathing from the top of the chest, that's why he always uh, having a problem in his health. Also, okay, the sound uh, tune is high. Uh, this is good for some reasons and it's very bad for uh, the other reasons. Uh, it is not okay to uh, to speak loudly all the time, all the time. Leads to a uh, whisper. Uh, he always, <laughs> it seems that he always talk to himself very much and whisper to the other people. And they are, uh, they are he's very interested in talking about the others. Give a great attention to photos, views and colors of our sounds and sensations. Fear to fall. That's why they uh, they may tell you uh, I, I don't I don't like this work at all. They will throw it in the fire. I don't like this procedure. I don't like your attitude. And I don't like uh, all this process. So uh, if you are a feeler or uh, a sensitive person, you will face a lot of problems when you deal with this personality. All his intention and imagines he will fail and his work is not acceptable, like I said. The speed of decision making and the delay in making decisions. So uh, he takes the decisions very quick, uh, very quickly, very fast and uh, but this is if he is in under pressure and if, it is, uh, if he is in uh, a normal mood uh, there will be uh, there will be a delay in making decisions he will tell you let it now let it now don't think about it now we will fix it uh, we will decide later we will decide later 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 he will tell you this many uh, many times and hurry uh, to respond to others. This means uh, if you uh, criticize him uh, or attack him, he will respond to you very fast and he will attack you too. He will not think about uh, your words. No, he will focus on attacking you. He will focus on criticizing you too, even if he is not right, even if he did a, a very big mistake. Okay. Words precede meanings. 
Perhaps he said a word does not mean him and uh, does not mean and get involved with someone. This means that he may say uh, something and uh, he uh, he means another another thing, but he used the wrong word at the wrong time. Okay, that's why this guy, those guys are are uh, troublemakers when they deal with the others who do not understand them. Uh, he has a love of control because he thinks he sees the whole picture. He thinks that he is the best. He thinks that uh, he can do anything and the others are stupid and fools. Well, they are troublemakers to a high degree. Feathers the shape of women. Well, it's a very big uh, problem uh, with them if they uh, see uh, a woman, uh, a sexy woman, uh, they will tell you, wow, wow, look at this. It's very sexy body. Oh my God. Like this. And this is very uh, disgusting. <laughs> this is very good. This is not very good. And uh, this is not acceptable at all. Uh, why? Because they always focus on the shape of their uh, women. Uh, they always treat them like objects. Not they don't deal with their minds or their uh, thinking. They always criticize their uh, uh, shape and uh, their clothes. And if they uh, see a woman like this, I will tell you. Oh my God! Look at this Michelin woman. So his words precede their meanings. Okay, of course we have to uh, remember what happened uh, <laughs> at the second debate uh, and the video of Donald Trump. Okay, before uh, this debate, so you have to know that nobody has more respect for women than they do. Nobody, nobody. He has a love of control sometimes because he sees the whole picture uh, of his great dependence uh, on the information only and uh, the lack of sensations. Okay, so he has the love of control because he is very dependent on the information only uh, from the pictures he sees and the lack of sensations. And they all, always drive you wildly. And if you are a sensitive, a sensitive uh, person uh, like the feelers, you will not get along with this guy at all. He will push you. He may beat you at work. And uh, if a woman, if uh, the woman is a feeler or kinesthetic, and uh, her husband is visual, we we always see uh, these problems. Okay, so it is not recommended at all to get married from uh, a person who is visual and you are feeler. You will not understand them at all. So how to deal with visual personality? This is a very important part. Do not talk low. Uh, do not use low voices and your voice has to be high or loud <laughs> like him, but it is not advisable to be low okay it's not necessary to be loud but it is not ad uh, advisable to be low and it is advisable not to be uh, long strokes between the words this irritates the visuals especially if uh, the strokes is not a goal uh, or does not focus on a point but a method of speech in the sense that the speed is reasonable to talk okay so in other words, uh, you have to speak uh, fast and uh, do not stop. Tell him what is going on quickly. Move quickly uh, a bit to some extent because uh, the show, the slow movement or uh, the completion of the work irritates the nerves of the inflexible type of them and may not appreciate this nature of person. And consider it uh, cold and lazy or idle. He will tell you, 
Come on, this guy does not talk. Does not talk. He's very cold and lazy. Which may prompt uh, them not to deal with the slow movement or ignore them as so as not to disrupt them. Expressing energy and vitality uh, while dealing with them instead of being very calm. They do not like. They do not like the very calm people uh, because they are often high energy others and they are not patient. Talk to them using the style of images or imagination, such as to tell them, uh, imagine, see uh, the picture. Talk about the global image. Do not talk about the details. They hate the details of anything. Look at my point, even if it does not require visual uh, vision or visual imagination, but you have to tell him uh, some of his favorite keywords. Do not check a lot of feelings or do not show uh, feelings and do not uh, hesitate to talk because they weigh words with their eyes and do not weigh them in their hearts or by their hearts or feelings uh, so they may say words are not are not offensive in the sense that may be taken speci uh, specifically sensory they are uh, scrutinized a lot uh, with them uh, this may lead them to ignore those who check the, uh, with them or not to talk to them so that they do not feel them or they uh, may lead them to neglect them so you have to uh, eh, try to uh, do what they do uh, while you speak with them to keep and you have to keep uh, the eye contact uh, they love the strong personalities they hate uh, weak personalities the use of the body language and physical expressions during the conversation to a degree because some of them, especially the extremists, uh, may interrupt, uh, interpret uh, the calm expression as cool. Uh, raise the shoulder, uh, show self-confidence and just while talking uh, with them to create a kind of familiarity at the level of the unconsciousness. Uh, the purpose of most of the above points is to send a message to the senses that we are like you and you will see what context changes will occur at the unconscious level. And create an uh, affinity, similarities in worldly values and uh, convictions and talk of their concerns even from the stage of representation at the beginning only. To create an atmosphere of familiarity and then leave them then what you want, okay, to what you want. Just tell them about the global image and uh, tell them that your project or your ideas will help them uh, in the future and uh, show that your point is very strong, uh, you have to be self-confident uh, and something like this. Try to follow many methods when you talk to them. Uh, full of pictures, colors, and visions for the future and do not follow one style, they get bored easily, quickly. So, to sum up, <laughs> this person uh, speaks very fast, talks about the future, has the ability to read quickly, breathes uh, very fast, observes spelling mistakes, has to see you, to listen you, uh, to you well, to understand something uh, he writes or draws what he listens to, he must know the general idea of the topic before talking about the details or he will tell you, please stop, I don't have a time, I don't have time. He is weak in remembering the oral information. If you ask him or ask her about uh, a date or something that is related to the numbers, <laughs> he will tell you, I'm sorry, of course, I cannot remember has been a long time since uh, this happened. Many of them uh, are racists and this is a very big problem. We face it uh, every day, every day. Uh, this personality uh, is violent and they do not like the people who are uh, 
who do not uh, follow their rules or do, they do not have their cultures or they do not uh, follow the same uh, religion they are a uh, very big racist if you talk to them it will tell you that those guys uh, are somehow Christians or Muslims Muslims are terrorists uh, the others uh, are not uh, if he is a Muslim and he is a racist he will tell you that all the Americans are terrorists and something like this this very uh, disgusting and uh, not acceptable at all they so they have to know that uh, you have to respect the others and even if they do not follow your ideas and when you talk to them please avoid any uh, talking about uh, the religions or uh, something like this because they get bored and they will not accept you so uh, finally the president who has a visual personality <laughs> What are the reaction of people if their president has a visual personality, uh, especially after what happened during the World War, uh, after the Worldwide War number uh, two? We have to remember this. You're awake, by the way. By the way, you're not having a terrible, terrible dream. Also, you're not dead and you haven't gone to hell. This is your life now. This is our election now. This is us. This is our country. It's real. No, oh, it's real. So this is this video. Uh, was uh, we uh, have seen it uh, after uh, Donald Trump uh, became the became the president. <laughs> it was a very big shock to many people. Uh, so finally, we have to respect the others and we have to uh, deal with them uh, politely. Uh, so, gentlemen, uh, finally, this personality is a problem. It seems to, uh, to be a very big problem, but uh, flexible people uh, can uh, deal with them uh, but very carefully. So, finally, thank you very much. And uh, the next tour, we're going to uh, complete our videos. Thank you very much. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.